Hello and welcome back to Quantum Break. I'll ooh. The entire town now seems to be a disaster area. And while authorities and relief workers from Monarch are redoubling their efforts, it seems everybody's working at capacity. And time was broken. Working out of sync. The city was in a state of chaos. Damn. And, oh shit. The end of time was closing in. And you still believed you could fix it. Well, he obviously didn't have having this conversation. A countermeasure. The CFR, as Monarch knew it. The key to the lifeboat protocol. Monarch's survival plan. But that didn't seem to matter to you. I had a better plan. He's pretty arrogant throughout this. Okay, then. Like, if he's even a little bit wrong, then... Oh! Damn, that was close. Christ. All right, next time go right. Who was this? Oh, it's just a light. <laughs> There's one kind of fault though of all this. If times, oh, oh, damn it. I mean, if time is out of sync. And some people are aware that you know something's gone wrong. Won't they react differently to? I don't know. That's that's the funny thing about time traveling. Mean, I get that they're doing this whole like no. St <laughs> that guy walking from the train. Yeah. I mean, I get they're doing the whole thing like you know you see the future happen, so it you know has to happen, or at least that's what Paul Serene believes. But I kind of fault with that. Yeah, I think I got two of them. One hit. But yeah, I kind of fault with that idea though. Is I mean, like, if he's seen the future, won't he react differently? But then again, I mean, I suppose he has mentioned that his attempts to fix the future kind of caused him to happen. So I suppose it is the whole self-fixing thing. But I'm just feeling like throughout this, there's been one fault. Some fault, but I can't remember what it was. Also, since we kind of caused all this to happen by, you know, messing around with the CFR in the past, I am kind of wondering... Like, you know, was this always going to happen? Like, if we hadn't gone back in time to mess around, would this have all still happened? Or is this like a, you know, paradox? Like a time paradox. Like time paradoxes. You know, apart from in this one, like, everything's going to die and everything. Well, not die, but... Well, actually, you know, a lot of it will die. A lot of it will just be frozen down. Oh crap, Juggernaut, Juggernaut, Juggernaut! I don't know if this actually counts as a Juggernaut, but... Anyway, that's just my little ramblings about time. How do I... Oh, there we go. anything else. I do want to be thorough because I have a feeling this is the end. Or near the end at least. I gotta say this is a nice office. Shame there's a train going through it. Yeah, I can hear you. Is that you? Yes. I wasn't sure if I could make this work. Listen, the CFR, it's not easy to reach, but you can access it from Serene's office. A friend of mine has unlocked the CFR chamber, but the rest of the... This really doesn't look like that too hard to climb. Like this. I guess you can. I mean, like, if we were really desperate, we could probably just find someone to put to climb up. Also, Serene's not... Oh, wait, no, we know. Actually, where is he? I thought he went and dropped off. Oh, wait, no, he went to go do something. Welcome to the International Headquarters. Damn it, I can't keep up with all his shenanigans. This state-of-the-art building has become world-famous for its unique architecture and... 
I mean, he's got so many shenanigans. Mr. Hatch, uh, I thought you, you, they said you're dead. They are confused about a great many things. The building provides a safe... I have a job, job for you. But you're, you're, I mean, I'm not sure I should... should. <laughs> this poor guy. You are supposed to for me. Yes, yes, yes of course. course. Whatever you say, well, in that case, I'm sure you're all cool. I wonder what Mr. Hatch is planning. Or what? Ooh, hello. You poor gentleman. Stuck here. Poor bastard doesn't know anything about the train crash. Hope he doesn't have a heart attack when time resumes. Hmm. Better have a look here. It's too bright, I can't tell which is which. I think this is... yeah, that's the guys. Oop, enemies about. Not sure where, but... Oh, there they are. Running around at the speed of sound. I swear, those punches are so at... Shoot! Shoot, you crazy bastard! Yeah, those punches are very anticlimactic. <coughs> Sorry. I mean, with the huge build-up, and possibly because I've been playing Saints Row, I expect an explosion. Shifter. How did the start proofing break? Or is it just in some areas? Like, I'm assuming their lifeboat is still fine. Okay, my guess is that this whole tower is meant to be start proof, but it's not. Or, perhaps, no, not Serene, Hatch, was able to do whatever it was he was telling that guy. What he was doing. Was well, that one monarch soldier was pretty inept. Like everyone else just seems so cra I mean not cra, sorry, just brusque and intimidating. And there's someone going, Oh Mr. Hatch, it's you I was getting closer to the countermeasure. Paul had the key to fixing the fracture all along. But he didn't see it. There was nothing to see. He believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. That's why he used the countermeasure, the CFR, to create the lifeboat. I mean, it's a somewhat noble... Wait, when did I do that? I don't remember doing that at all. Is my presence enough to do that? What the fuck is that? Wait, what? Why? What did I miss? Damn. Oh, there it is. Ah! Damn it, I didn't get a good look at it. Fuck. Hate when that happens. Ooh. Ooh. You did not die easy. You know what's weird? Can't actually see a cut on his outfit. Unless it's just on the back. Kind of convenient that he landed on his back then. Martin Hatch has been... Guess up. Those men died fighting something that lives outside of time. The very reason our weapons program was built. Serene knew they were coming. Weapons weren't doing the trick. I guess this is a lot more terrifying than time just stopping. This might also explain what Hatch was talking about, about creatures. And what happened to that Dr. Kim. Let me worry about that. It's just that I'm really not sure this is okay. Couldn't we just, Couldn't we just check, check with somebody? somebody? Do I have to look up your home address? No, no. 
No, sir. No, sir. I'll do it. See that you do. I wonder if Hatch is one of those time things. Would explain how he killed those four guys. I mean, you see it in movies, but I mean, the guy didn't even look a little bit, you know, ruffled from it. I mean, you'd expect his suit to be a bit. And plus, he was zip-tied. I mean, you, you can break out of those, but he had four people watching him, and all, all armed to the teeth. T.I., can you get this door open for me? You know, it had to have been something Sorry, special. Her voice sounds a little different. Maybe they got a different voice actress. Don't know why they would, but maybe they did. Or maybe it's just meant to be the radio. Ooh, company. No, 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 no. That was easy. Oh crap, there's someone there. Who's left? Oh, there it is. Did that guy just run through me? Alright, I think I got him. Damn, now that... That was not anticlimactic. That was pretty cool. What's, what's up there? Oh, more people. Oh crap, two of them. I mean, one is not too bad, but... Ah, ah! Worst time ever to... Right, what other guns do I have? I think I need some... Ooh, good, I've got a shotgun. Lovely. Okay, I, I think that guy's stuttering, but he's not... Jeez, Jack Choice has got a, you know, pretty resilient. Oh, just die already, you asshole. You are being very rude staying alive when I'm going to all this effort to kill you. Very unappreciative. Stay tuned. Oh, finally. Jeez, is he? Oh, no, I think he stopped. Jesus, well, that would give someone a seizure. Alright. Now that we've got a little bit of time, eh, we've got no time. The machine was going strong. The public believed that they were doing what the police force couldn't. Protecting them from a terrorist threat. From... You. I can kind of tell that Wincott was the one who wrote this.
You told me that Hatch had Paul's full there support. We go. I saw otherwise. There was a temporary misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? I'm not reading the whole thing, I just want to read the, you know, cliff notes, so to speak. What's over here? I saw... Oh, no, it's just a dead guy. I thought it was something interesting. But, I mean, this is a video game, and dead guys are not interesting video... There, are not interesting in video games. For the most part. Occasionally, you'll find an in interesting one, but... It's pretty rare. Hey, Anna. Trying to get the sky bridge. Sky bridge. Sky bridge. I'm marketing right now. That's okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think I got it. Hey, John. Be careful. There's something really weird going on in this building. That'd be a shift. Paul's empire was falling apart all around me. I'd never seen anything like it. But Paul had. That's what he was preparing for all those years. He didn't do a very good job. You didn't help, Maz. I mean, you know, time ending was one thing, but to discover that there's also creepy monsters from... I just want to quickly check around, because... You know, a big thing about this game is getting the collectibles, and I do want to make sure I get as many as possible. I'm not realistically going to get all of them, but... these things there are. I mean, it's possible it's just one. What if it's just that Dr. Kim guy? I mean, like, when Hatch said he was releasing him, did he mean, like, you know, killing him so he could, you know, rest? Because I, I doubt that's, you know, a pleasant experience, being trapped in a small box as some kind of freakish monster. Or if he literally just meant, you know, I'm blowing this up, you you can run around now. Go be free, have fun, do whatever it is, creepy. <laughs> well, that was pointless. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh my gosh. Jeez, I mean... What the fuck? He's that serious about it? I'm surprised she hasn't blocked him. I mean, what, what even is his job? Seems all he does is write creepy screenplays that seem to... that, you know, are really lacking in plot, and also just a weird way of him admitting that he's in love with her. What's this? Uh... Okay, I just want to have a quick look at that again because I had some of that blue screen issue again which I had to quickly fix.
I respect you, sir. You could have kept quiet. And at the end of days, people might not have known. And people certainly wouldn't have known it was you. But you came forward. And this might explain what Hatch was doing when he was talking to those people. I do remember them saying before that, you know, they had no idea where Hatch came from. He just appeared one day. I don't know why, but I've got a sinking feeling that he's from the future. That, you know, Serene brought him back for whatever reason. And that might be why he's allied with these shifter things. Or at least trying to bring him out. Maybe he controls them somehow. I don't know, it's very confusing. I still don't really understand his motivation. And I'm really hoping that, you know, what's just happened to him in the live action episode means that we don't get to find out because let's be honest that'd be a freaking huge you know kick to the teeth because I'm desperate to find out it's such an important mystery and I like mysteries plus it's fun to guess ahead and see if you can figure out what it is if you get it right then you feel pretty cute Careful. Oh crap. That, oh, no. It's all that weird fuzzy bit and I thought it was that monster or whatever it is. Oh crap, it is! Or is that Serene? Is that you? Who the fuck? Okay, it was one of the monsters. I should probably stop saying monster, but now you get my concern. What the fuck was that thing? Crap. Train. All personnel, stay clear of the lower levels. There's a possible hazard. Repeat, stay clear of the lower levels. There appears to be a train crashed into the building. The situation is under control. All personnel should remain in secure areas. There are intruders in the building. Repeat, remain in secured areas. What's that thing? I passed it? Hmm, maybe I'll see it later. If not, then I don't think I can get back. Another door I need help with, Fiona. You're at Serene's office. Good. Uh, just a second. This one's a little tricky. Serene's got access to the CFR chamber, and there's going to be a pretty dangerous guy there guarding. <laughs> got it. Just be careful, okay? Paul was already gone, but he left behind the one thing I needed. Hmm, sounds a bit like Serene's dream. <coughs> dream.
Okay. Martin Hatch. We have a mission. Prep the chopper. Ready to lift off in 15, sir. What's the profile? Full tactical complement. And we're going to need a tech squad for assembly. I'll brief them on the way. Copy that. Good hunting, sir. Has to be Hatch. I mean, the, the last words were him, like, saying, I am a Hatch. Right, what else is there? Right, something here. Oop. Let's surf the web. alarm went off. Is that you skulking around, Jack? Fuck you. We're done playing games. I'm here for what you stole. Yes, of course. The CFR. If you understood just how much depended on that, you'd leave it alone. But I know you don't care. You're right. I don't. And it looks like you're not here to stop me. Yes. Yes, everything will play out as it has to play out. I'll see you very soon, Jack. He seems remorseful. No, not remorseful, that's the wrong word. He seems to... Oh, damn. Yeah, I was just gonna say resentful. He seems resentful of the situation. Again, probably not the perfect word, but... There it is. Countermeasure was Paul's prize. Everything he built was based on Will's device. His plan depended on it. You better believe I look forward to taking it from him. Only one of Serene's treatments survived the explosion. His time was running out. So was everybody else's. Yeah, but there's a difference. They can have more. I'm not going to read every little bit, I just wanted to show most of it. Paul spent a long time running Monarch in secret. It probably didn't help with that whole disconnected from reality thing.
What is this? Seventeen years, he lived through twice. All of it mapped out from memory. He knew the market trends before they occurred. He had the tools to make a fortune, and he did. You know, to his credit, though, I mean, that's impressive that he remember all that stuff. I mean, I know like loads, loads of people, and I, to, to be fair, to an extent, myself included, said if I go back in time, I do this, 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 and differently, and then, you know, yeah, everything would be great. But at the same time, how much can you really remember? Like, you'd only really remember the big stuff. You wouldn't remember every the small little stuff that could get you lost, a lot of, you know, success. <laughs> Though to be fair, actually, I do know one thing that would get you a lot of success: bitcoins. With a fortune nowadays. Compared to what they were in the past. It's a little bit sad that he trusts her. What's down here? Oh wait, no. Wait, no. <laughs> Silly me. We were here earlier as Paul Serene. Paul was a powerful man. The leader of an empire, but behind the veil, he was a dying man. The signs were clear. Isn't this is some private lab? Doctor Amaral was the one thing keeping Paul alive, but reading through their exchanges, there was something more than professional going on. That's not my place to comment on. That's quite sad. Ah, crap. Get out of my way, ruler. Huh. That was easy. I was expecting a much tougher boss battle. Seeing him like that. So artistic. Seeing that face put it into perspective. 
They were all misled, manipulated to believing they were doing what was right. What was necessary? They stockpiled all the chronon Liam particles Burke from Ground Zero to keep the lifeboat running. Liam Burke Enough was to an unnecessary last casualty. Until a proper solution was discovered. One of way too many. That was a little unfortunate. I just did that. Hopefully this is the last item. The lifeboat revolved around the countermeasure. He knew Will would try to take it back, that's why he was killed. He knew I'd try to do the same eventually. Clearly he was right. Alright, that's nearly all of them. Let's just be one or two more in there. Fiona, I'm at the CFR chamber. Door's locked. That's way above my access level. But since my friend disabled security earlier, I should be able to do this. Listen, I don't really know what the plan is, but it's all up to you now. What is your plan? I mean, what if this needs like a complicated process to do? This was our holy relic. Alright, he's done talking. Well, that's all 18. There'd been some kind of struggle in the chamber. I didn't know the details. Somebody cleaned it up. A man named Charlie Wincott. I believe he chose to take a stand. Unfortunately, it ended badly for him. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems to be that kind of work of fire. Jeez, you are really, really unconsiderate to his efforts. D does it seriously say Data Samurai? Ooh, I located all the Intel items. Nice. Did pretty well. Unless that just means for this chapter, in which case, I mean, that's good, but not as good as I'd hoped. Alright. The moment of truth. It took 11 years for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it. So did other people. And I knew it could fix the fracture. Fucking thing. Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did was dead. So what? Mark what was the plan then? Just to him before that ever happened. The university time machine. We've got the core here. Huh. Monarch had built their own time machine above the CFR chamber. That's where I needed to go. You still believed you could go back and save your brother? Yes. I mean, really, have you not learned anything about time travel yet? Then again, I suppose this stupid hope is the only thing you're, you know, banking everything on. Without it, you may as well just give up now. Even though you're defying all logic. Paul Serum was right, really, you know? When he said about burning with hope. Hope's like a fire, I think. I mean, without it, sure, it's cold and it's dark. And it's nice to have a bit of it, but you know, stare too deeply or get too close and it will burn you. Paul took the core Moderation, the people. University. Moderation. Own machine. It was part of his sick desire for control, but that gave me one last shot at fixing things. I could go back, maybe get to Will before Paul killed him. And if I could get the countermeasure in Will's hands, maybe I could still turn everything around. It's not faced a shifter. What was that? Alright, a lot of blue. Including the occasional blue screen, which is very frustrating. I had to put the place. Right, here we go. Okay. This should do it. Oh crap!
Ah, oh, no, not the blue screen. I don't know why it's very frequent today. And I mean, like, it happens when I record Halo Wars, but that's not really too much of a problem, because, you know, Halo Wars is a strategy game. Like, very few times are you going to be in a nail by a situation where, you know, you need everything to go right that second. Whereas, you know, obviously in a shooter... Oh my gosh, shoot, shoot! But obviously in a shooter, that's a bigger necessity. Shooting me now. I'm aware this pausing thing is frustrating, but otherwise I would be getting killed. Machine lady. <laughs> machine was ready. I just needed to put in the date. The earliest I could go back to was the time that the core was first activated. At the university. Not much time to rescue your brother. I didn't have a choice. You better be as advertised. Hmm. So you've got five minutes. <laughs> 